Hello, hello, hello and welcome back to Heartfelt Hustle. I'm your host Sush and today we are going to be talking about something what most of the people or I don't think anyone has ever even talked about this and so what is it that we are going to be talking about? Well, today we are going to dive in into something which I call as is launch anxiety. That nervous energy that creeps in as you're preparing to put your new offer out or to get your current offer which you're already proud of, which people are raving about and still you're not sure whether or how you are gonna get it out. That nervous energy, that doubt, those questions in your mind, all of those voices in your head, that is exactly what we are going to be talking about. And I am sure it's going to be an interesting episode to build the discussions around. So are you, my friend, looking forward to this conversation or not? Welcome to Heartfelt Hustle, the podcast that dives deep into the heart and hustle of entrepreneurship, where our dreams meet reality and where our passions fuel our success. I'm your host, Sushmata Jain, a loan strategist and operations director, founder of an outsourcing agency. Most of my clients call me their right-hand woman and most importantly, a curious soul as well as a nerd. I am here to share my experiences. I am here to share my insights. I am here to share practical tips that will help you build a thriving and a sustainable business. Whether you're an aspiring entrepreneur, a seasoned business owner, or someone looking to infuse more heart into your hustle, I am here and this podcast is for you. Each week, we'll dive into topics ranging from reconnecting to your passions, your soul, your why, and overcoming the roadblocks of your growth journey. So grab a cup of coffee, get comfortable, and let's dig in into this heartfelt hustle together. So before we dive in into launch anxiety, I actually want to start this episode with a story. A story if me... A story of baby Sush, you know, years and years ago, seven years ago to be very precise, or seven years and few months, if I have to be very even more precise about it. But, you know, it was that time when I was transitioning from just being a freelancer, someone who was getting any random project, coming away, grabbing it, working through it, making her way, trying to prove her choices to her family, oh my God, so many things happening, right? But yeah, that was the time when I was basically working on growing my brand. I was basically even working on building my brand, not even growing it. I was someone who was just start like I had started a blog, I had started building my social media presence, I was testing offers, I was trying to figure my shit out. Yes, I've said it, right? And that was the time when I was excited to try something. It was a launch event and I was like, okay, we're going to go for it. We're going to try it. I was obviously alone, solo, figuring my way out. And even though I was really excited about it, I had that, you know, weird feeling in my stomach where or weird feeling in my head or, you know, all of those voices, like I said a few minutes ago, which were in my head saying things like, what if this flops? What if no one buys? What if I am someone who does not even know how I'm going to make it work? Oh my God, this is so much work and do you really want to do it all? Isn't it overwhelming and how am I going to figure things out? Like I did not even have an email system at that point of time and I was trying to again like I said figure things out but here we are 
cut to, you know, all these years later, I'm not just running my launches. I have my own agency where we offer done for you launch support. I have my clients where we have been supporting strategically as well as technically to our clients to make sure they do what they love, which is be there for their own clients, show up, deliver their launches, deliver their offers while we handle all of the behind the scenes. I have my membership where I am supporting all of these amazing visionaries who have their vision, who which they are literally, you know, working on building and, you know, bringing the ideas to life. And it is so fulfilling to see them work through things, to see them get inspiration, get into action mode and get things rolling. So, yeah, anything is possible, my friend. And the reason why I want us to talk about and the reason why I am initiating a conversation around launch anxiety is because what is launch anxiety? Like, what is it? Do we even, like, is it a, even even a term or is it a buzzword we're talking about? What is it? Well, simply put, it's a feeling of fear, doubt, or even overwhelm that tends to bubble up when we are about to either launch something or work on something, you know? And to be very honest, it's totally normal. After all, you are going to be stepping out of your comfort zone and you're going to put yourself out there. You are getting yourself out there. And for many of us, this anxiety stems from common fears like fear of failure, fear of judgment, fear of even perfectionism because we are very passionate about our ideas. We are very passionate about all of the work we do and that is the reason why we are also very protective of our work at the same time. So we might worry about what people will think. We might worry about whether we are doing enough. We might worry about whether it is perfect before we even share our idea out. But here's the thing. These feelings are valid, but they are are not something that have to control us. By understanding where they come from, we can start to slowly, even though steadily, but slowly dismantle them. For example, did you know that research shows that 60% of entrepreneurs experience some form of anxiety during a launch? So you're not alone in this, definitely not alone in this. And that is why shifting our mindset, making those mindset shifts are so crucial. So when I talk about mindset shifts, what am I even talking about? Like, what do I specifically want us to start working towards? So you are at three powerful Mindset shifts that can help us overcome launch anxiety and help us, you know, set ourselves up for success. Well, shift number one, embrace imperfection. Because even though how much ever we say no to it, perfectionism is a sneaky little girl bread which behind which is literally behind a lot of our anxiety. And we often think everything needs to be flawless. We want that landing page to be flawless. We want our images to be flawless. We want, you know, the process to be seamless. You know, there's so much. But here's the, th uh, but here's the truth. Done is better than perfect. When we embrace imperfection, we allow ourselves make progress rather than getting stuck in the cycle of endless tweaking. I have seen so many people who are all, they're literally just stuck in the cycle of endless tweaking. If I would have 
thought of trying to have that perfect setup, you know, before I get my podcast out, I never would have even had a podcast in the first place. If I would have thought that I want to have the perfect studio setup before I start live streaming, I wouldn't have been here at all. I started live streaming right from my apartment in my room from that small little desk I had. If you have seen my reel on Instagram for or about, you know, how my desk setup has transitioned over the years, it was such a tiny table I used to work from versus now this huge setup I have. It has evolved as I have evolved. My offers, my work, my strategies, everything. And so it has happened for you as well, of course. And everything what I've done and so has what everything you've done has evolved over the years. So done is better than perfect. When you literally implement that launch idea, you have been trying to make it perfect until now once you implement it for the first time you are while you go through the journey yourself while you see your audience taking action you are going to get hit with ideas you're going to get with hit with inspiration you they are going to share feedback with you as well which is again further going to give you a lot more to work on that might even give you inspiration for other launch events you might host in the coming time. Now, for all of this to happen that I just mentioned, you have to take the first step, which is to get your idea out, to test it out, to work it out, to understand what you like, what you don't like. Remember, your audience doesn't expect perfectionism. They are looking for value. They are looking for connection. Information is out there. We are in a digital era. But what they are looking for is the right person to learn from. They are looking for the right support. This is exactly why they are looking for the right people they want to work with. Now, until and unless you are not going to show up, until and unless you are not going to walk them through the experience of how it is for them or how life would be once they work with you, they are not going to know and they are not going to actually, I don't know, get a broadcast about it or they might not actually time travel and see how things are in the future, right? So then it's our responsibility that we make sure we share what we have so that the world knows right so time to embrace your imperfectionism right next i want you to start thinking about and focus on this second mindset shift which is focus on the journey not the outcome it is so easy to get wrapped up in the results like how many seats, how many signups, how many likes. But here's the thing that you don't need to stop doing. Like if you're just going to be obsessed about numbers, which is sales, signups, likes, here's the thing, you're not going to enjoy the process. But when you literally shift your focus from just focusing on the materialistic things, to rather focus on the journey, to reduce the pressure on yourself, you will start celebrating every single win. You know, even a small thing like finishing your sales page, getting positive feedback from your beta tester, getting amazing, you know, even your clients taking action, these moments are also and you will start noticing how they are part of your success story so again focus on the journey not just the outcome yes the outcome is important because we definitely are striving for success we are striving for growth we are striving for different milestones on our journey and as human beings 
this is exactly why gamified version or gamified things perform because we crave growth but still you have to look at different aspects of your growth as well and different you know different parts of your stories when it comes to even your success story it's just not like not just or only the sales numbers is not what is only going to matter right next and the third mindset shift i want you to start uh, you know incorporating in your life and in your business is that reframe failure as feedback because this one's my friend going to be a game changer instead of seeing setbacks as failure start valuing them as valuable feedback which you are receiving it's all data every challenge you have coming your way every launch event you run is an opportunity for you to learn improve and come back with an improved version of what you have to offer maybe your launch didn't hit the numbers you wanted okay that's fine so now you know what you need to work on what maybe tweaks are you going to try next time so then when you try and test those tweaks out you can see how and what performed and then makes the make the next set of edits or changes or adaptations you need to make so every launch is an experiment i mean i know i come from science background and i am someone who looks at everything in our life as an experiment but i think this slight tweak or mindset shift can help you in like really long run and every experiment is going to give you some inferences like when we were doing all of those experiments you know during these years when i was writing my thesis with you know the other team members were or in the lab we were working in not every test we did or not every experiment we run gave us the results we wanted but then it did give us data this is exactly how i love data so much as an researcher we valued data and still as a business owner i value data and i think you need to start doing the same right so on that note i want us to actually change the topic of the conversation from mindset shifts to practical tips that i feel are going to help you stay motivated because again when it comes to your launches you know there's also few things i would love you to start incorporating first and foremost i want you to start breaking down your tasks into smaller manageable steps because if you are going to look at running your launch as an everest to climb it's going to be a difficult one i mean even when since i'm talking about climbing an everest i want to say one thing when you are either climbing a mountain or you are on a trek you're not going to go and aim for the entire climb in one go you are still going to break things down you're going to have base camps you're going to prep up for the further climb and that's exactly how you do things when it comes to even running your launches this makes the process less overwhelming and it helps you see consistent progress so then definitely this is something if you are not doing it yet i want you to start working towards next i want you to establish a routine that supports you because whether it's something you do in the morning whether it is that you are not taking enough breaks to recharge whatever it is that you feel you want to start incorporating in your routines it's time to start testing it out right now also don't underestimate the power of self care because 
I've been someone who has been working on this and especially after I've become a mom, I have started making sure that I am taking some time off or I am spending some time in certain activities which help me recharge because, you know, that's exactly how we fill our cups. And launching can be intense. It takes time and it is something which like taking time for ourselves should be non-negotiable. I've learned the hard way, but I don't want you to learn the hard way. And again, you can't pour from an empty cup. So this is something again, you know, I, like take a minute and work things out. And another great tip is to create a launch mantra or a phase or an affirmation that reminds you of your goals and keeps you grounded. Something like, I'm prepared, I'm capable, and I'm ready to serve, you know, something like that before you go live or before you start working for your launches. When anything, whatever works for you, whatever helps you get in that zone. I mean, even artists, before they are about to do their performances on stage, have their you know, get in the zone routine. You could have something like that for you as well. Try it out. Who knows, right? So, let me know what are your thoughts because confidence is not about never feeling fear. It's about feeling fear but still moving forward despite it. To maintain confidence throughout your launch I want you to start incorporating these changes slowly and steadily. And also there are a few things that have helped me on my own journey as well. Like, you know, I love every single day spending few minutes when I start my day, practice visualization, journaling. I start and end my day with journaling because it helps me reflect and that is exactly how it also gives me data to look back on as well and it's a great way to track my journey and remind me of how far I've come as well so if you are someone who would love to start incorporating this in your routine definitely something you can start trying and testing out right so that's me and I want to wrap this episode here today. So to wrap things up, remember that launch anxiety is a normal part of the process, but it does not have to hold you back. By embracing imperfectionism, by you focusing on how the journey has been and you reframing and you are working on these mindset shifts, you can start approaching launches more confidently and with more clarity. We will be talking about strategies in the upcoming episodes for sure, but I want you to start thinking about this because it's not just about the strategy which holds people back when it comes to running launches. It is the launch anxiety which holds a lot of people back from getting their offers out. And launch, I mean, launching is not just about running fancy events. Launches can be something as simple as a one-day masterclass or even a two- or three-day event. It can be anything, but you have to be up for it. If you're not up for it, how are you even going to get started with working on your idea, right? So on that note, I'm going to be taking off for now. I will be seeing you in the next episode. And if you aren't connected with me on social media yet, make sure you do and see you soon. Let's hustle, but with heart. See you for now.